Hi, everyone. Um, I thought it would be uh, the best option for me to uh, create a tutorial video for you um, to go over what we covered last week, which was how to create uh, a drum pattern or a drum uh, track from scratch. Um, and the, the, the way you create a drum, a drum track can also be applied to how you create a melody or a bass line. So we're going to cover that uh, in this section here. So like with every project, you want to double click on empty project. So you're always going to be given the option of software instrument or audio if you want to uh, you know, audio usually means that you're going to be recording a live instrument, which is usually a microphone or a guitar. And then you have the drummer. So naturally, you, you would think that it would be under the drummer, but the drummer only contains uh, presets and loops that are already uh, set for you. I mean, you can alter them and edit them, but in order to create uh, a drum pattern from scratch, you actually have to go into software instrument. So if you double click on software instrument, It'll open up a default track, which is classic electric piano. So if you look onto your left side here, this is your library of uh, software uh, instruments. So you have bass, you have two drum kits and then guitars and so on. So clearly we're going to want to choose one of the two drum kits. The first drum kit is uh, basically they're, they're more like realistic sounding drum kits. Uh, as as realistic as realistic as you can imagine with you know a, a synthetic device, but they're more uh, organic sounding drums. So I personally prefer the electronic drum kits because it has more of a variety and more interesting sounds. And I find that uh, especially if you're going to write a variety of different uh, styles of music, if you plan on writing different styles of music, I would recommend exploring the electronic drum electronic drum kit because. It, it has a more diverse library in, within it. Uh, the regular drum, I mean, it's really a matter of preference. The, the regular drum kit has just, more, you know, it's typical rock, jazz. If you click on it, like, uh, Manchester, Motown, uh, it's pretty straightforward. But in the electronic drum kit, even though, you know, the names don't really give it away, uh, if you explore them, you'll notice some really fascinating sounds. So... Uh, just for the sake of an example, I'm going to choose Indie Disco. So if you just click on it once, you'll see that your classic piano is going to change to Indie Disco. So the next thing you want to do is create a work area. So in your track, uh, in the gray area here, you want to right click and create an empty MIDI region. So what that's going to do, it's going to give you a blank uh, canvas to actually create a pattern so the way to do that is to double click in the light green section at the top where the name is indie disco so you double click there and you'll see it, it kind of brought brought you to uh, a matrix down here and this is where you're going to have all your sounds even though you can't see the name of the percussion instruments they're usually found between c1 and c3 so if you click on them individually you're, you're going to hear every percussion sound within that set so there's your bass track your bass drum kick drum and, if you, and so on you just gotta kind of explore it to see what different sounds are so there's two ways that you can actually write your pattern i'm gonna expand here so we can have more room to see what we're doing so there's one of two ways that you can actually uh, write your notes so you so say i want the um the kick drum you kind of move along the line that's it's that follows through in the first box you can either right click and create note or you can hold down the command key and literally click in the boxes where you want your notes to be so if you want to kind of hear just what's in this box you just hit the little play button here and it'll play your drum pattern I actually have the metronome on, which some people might find useful. I personally find it annoying, so I'm gonna turn it off. So there's your kick drum. So, you know, you can keep, you can actually add to it while the pattern is playing. Uh, personally, I, I just, after a while, it kind of, 
if you hear the thing, same thing over and over again for a while, it kind of drives you crazy. But um, if you want to continue with, say, a snare drum, again, uh, hold the command key and click. I find that's usually the easiest option. If you want to hear that, what that sounds like, you just hit play. So very basic, but you get the idea. And then if you want to add more, you know, kind of add more flavor to it, you can just add in random places just sometimes being random kind of makes it sound interesting you never know what's going to come out the other thing you can do is literally just click on your on your notes and just move it to another instrument So what's also interesting is while it's playing, you can actually switch the kit. So if you just hit another kit, it'll literally replace all the percussion sounds. It'll keep all the notes that you, you keyed in, but it'll it'll assign all the percussion sounds that are within this kit, whatever whichever one you choose. So if I hit major crush, it's gonna assign all the percussion patterns or sounds to your pattern. So it's the same pattern, it's just using different percussion sounds that are found within the major crush set. And you can keep going until you find one that's right. So we'll stop that. So now what you can do is open another software track. So right click in your MTE workspace right here and then new software instrument track so i'm going to actually copy the same pattern into the software instrument that you just chose but we're going to go with uh, a synthesizer uh, i'm just going to pick a random one um, let's say the jump up bass. I'm not really sure what that sounds like, but if you double click again on, even though it says indie disco, it's just basically telling you this is what you use to create the pattern. But if you double click it within that rhythm or pattern, it's actually going to uh, uh, assign the jump up bass to this pattern. <laughs> So I want to kind of slow it down because it's a little bit fast for my liking. So here, this is where your rhythm, uh, sorry, your beats per minute are. So this is where your tempo is going to be. Um, you literally can just click on the number and drag down. So I usually like like 114, 116 and I'm old, so I like it slower. Um, so then you can just hear what it sounds like slow down a little bit. <laughs> So if you want to hear what it sounds like with the drums that you created at first, you literally just hit stop and it'll bring, bring you back to the beginning. Uh, remember, whatever's in a yellow, the yellow region is going to be what's looping. So because we only wrote one bar, you want to loop that section just so you can hear what, the, what a full track would sound like. So if you want to hear the drums with the, the melody that you wrote, you just hit play up here.
So I kind of like both those sounds. So what I want to do is include them both. So again, I'm going to write another software instrument track. I'm going to copy again the, the same pattern. Bring it quick in my track and then paste it down here. Um, so this one you had the jump up bass, I believe. Double click on the on the name and then so then I want to hear what this one sounds like. Oh yeah, that's the electric piano, but I want to go back to the other sound that I had. Uh, bass. And I believe it was the metro bass. So what you can do just to kind of make it interesting is uh, just copy and like you kind of, you know, if you want to have like variety to your just kind of create a pattern where it alternates and then uh, again if you want to loop your drum that goes all the way through to the song you just right click and then click loop on and it'll literally your drum will just play for the whole bit and then just to hear what's in this section you want to drag your loop region to here just so you can see what your pattern sounds like and then you go back to the beginning and then hit play <laughs> So there you go. That's your basics on how to create uh, your melodies, your drums. Uh, there's a lot, obviously a lot more options, uh, you know, but this is your basic way to create from scratch and it allows you to kind of replace sounds, play with different percussion sounds. So it's really endless what you can create with this, but uh, hopefully this gives you a, a good understanding on how to get started. All right. Talk soon.